Hi, friends. Hi, everyone. And welcome to another episode of Rain Kids, a fun time each week where we learn about Jesus and the things of God. My name is Miss Candace. And my name is Vanessa. That's right. And we are so excited to be with you guys today. Can you believe that we are done with all of the fruit of the Spirit? I can't believe it. Time went so fast. You are so right. Time flew by. <laughs> And if you have been watching all of the episodes and learning about the fruit of the Spirit, then that means that you have been getting smarter and smarter every single week. Yes. We have a great surprise for you today. We are going to be doing what, Vanessa? We are going to have an overview of every single episode of the fruit of the Spirit. That's right. We're going to be looking at some of our best moments of learning about the fruit of the Spirit. So we can't wait to jump into it. So what are we about to do now? Now we are gonna get up and dance. Woo -hoo. She knows exactly what we're doing. So stand to your feet and get ready to get all of your wiggles out. Let's go. It's me, Miss Renee. I can't believe we're at the end of our look at the fruits of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 22 and 23 in the Bible. Hello, everyone. It's me, Fifi. Yes, we have learned about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I am very curious to find out how some of our friends are doing with showing the fruits of the Spirit that we learned about. Yeah, that would be very interesting. 
I mean, we should technically catch up with everyone to see how they're doing. And I mean, everyone is pretty much here. That's fabulous. Let's do it. Okay, well, what was the first fruit of the spirit? It was love. That's right. And I believe DJ was having a problem in knowing how to show love. Well, the first fruit of the spirit was love. So I went to school and I said to myself, DJ, you need to show some love to the first person you see today. So I did. The first person I saw at school was Tracy the Bruiser Simons. The only girl allowed to play on the older boys football team? Yeah, because she is bigger than all the boys put together. Yep, she's the one. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, it took all my courage, but I said, here goes nothing, and I puckered up and I kissed her on the cheek. Oh, DJ, you kissed her? What for? Isn't that what love is? Kissing and hugging and being mushy? No, no, no. What happened after you kissed her? Isn't it obvious, Sherlock? Look at my eye. She decked me. She punched me out. Dotted my eye. Cleaned my clock. Let's find out how he is doing now. DJ! What's up, Fifi? How are you? Hey, DJ. We just wanted to catch up with you to see how you are making out showing the first fruit of the spirit, love. Well, as you remember, I got a black eye from Tracy the Bruiser Simons for giving her a kiss on the cheek while I was trying to show her love. Oh yes, DJ, we remember. Well, I learned that you don't have to show love by kissing or by being mushy. You can show love by doing nice things for others and expecting nothing in return. That's how God wants us to show love. You said that Tracy needed help with her math homework and you're good, so you were going to help. How did it go? Well, not to toot my own horn, but I am math. It went really well. I tutored Tracy for about two weeks, and on her last test, she got an 80%. That's great, DJ. Yeah, and since then, she nods at me whenever she walks across me, so I think we are friends now. That's great. Keep up the good work showing love. Thanks. I will definitely do that. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, DJ. Bye, guys. Well, Fifi, the next fruit of the spirit was joy. Yes, and I remember our friend Edward was having a hard time finding joy because it seemed like everything was going wrong. How are you doing? Lousy. This is the worst day of my life. <sighs> Uh-oh. Sorry to hear that, Edward. What went wrong today? Oh, just everything, I tell you. Everything. I wonder how Edward is doing. Well, Edward couldn't be here today because he is home with a broken leg, but he told me that everything is so much better for him now. Even when things go wrong, the Lord shows him how to find joy. Instead of being sad that he is stuck at home with a broken leg, he has found joy in having a reason to play video games all day. Well, I guess it's always good to find joy in bad situations. Yep, we should always ask God to help us find joy. So, Renee, I think that the next fruit of the Spirit that we talked about was peace. Yeah, I think, wasn't it Misty, the one who was trying to find peace when it came to her math test? Yes, because I'm going bonkers over this test. Listen to this story problem from our math book. A train is going 100 miles an hour down the track. Mm -hmm. That is 400 miles long. How many hours before the train gets to the end of the track? That's easy. Four hours. Woohoo! That's right, Jasmine. I know the answer is four hours, but what happens when the train gets to the end of the track? Does it crash? Does it drive off the end of the world? Are there passengers on board? Are they hurt? What if they don't have any band-aids on the train? 
Oh, no. Don't you care about any of that? Let's find out how Misty is doing now. Misty! Hola, Fifi! High five! Hola, Renee! Fist bump! Woo! How's everyone doing? Hey, Misty. We were just talking about how you were having trouble finding peace. Yeah, you're right. Little things would get me upset sometimes and make me worry. Even things that didn't make sense for me to worry about. Like that train described in the math problem. Remember that? Yep. So how are you now, Misty? So much better. I find it much easier to find and have peace now. I still get a little upset sometimes, but I now know how to handle it. You see, I just count to three. One, two, three. And then I'll just pray to the Lord to help me find peace. You know what, Fifi? It works, and I feel so much better after I pray. That's great, Misty. We should all work on finding peace. Yeah. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might. The spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace. Hi Jasmine! Hi everyone! Hi Vanessa! Hi everyone! It's been such a good time learning about the fruit of the spirit and seeing what our friends have learned as well, right? Mm-hmm! It has! The next fruit of the spirit that we're gonna look at was patience! Misty! I remember this. She was struggling to show patience, waiting for her plant to grow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Well, 
I got my little flower pot here with soil in it. The flower is sitting here by the window so it can get some sunlight. And I've been watering it every 10 minutes since I got it. Well, how fast do you think it should grow? Fast! You know that story, Jack and the Beanstalk? So now let's see how good Misty is at showing patience. Misty! Misty! Hey everyone! Hi Jasmine! Hi Vanessa! Hi Misty! Hello Misty! So Misty, you were having trouble showing patience and waiting for your flower to grow. Yeah. How are you doing now? Yeah, that's true Jasmine. Mm -hmm. I'm doing much better now. Good! And I'm looking forward to when my flower blooms. But I am being patient while I wait for it because God wants us to be patient. Mm -hmm. I even asked my mom for some other plants so that I could wait for them to grow as well. It gives me something else to look forward to. That's great, Misty. Mm -hmm. I even bought a full-grown sunflower <gasps> so that I didn't have to wait for that one to grow. Wow, that's a great idea. That will help you to be patient while you're waiting for the other plant to grow. You're so smart. Thank I'm you, so Jasmine. glad that you have learned to be patient. Keep it up. Woo, woo, woo Thanks, woo Jasmine. You're See welcome. You. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. So, Vanessa, what was the next fruit of the spirit that we looked at? Oh, wait, I remember. It was kindness. You got it, Jasmine. Woohoo! Yes, I got it! <laughs> Amani was telling me about a talk that she had with one of her classmates where she wasn't very kind. Mm -mm. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Amani. You will never believe what happened to me just now. Hmm? That funny looking kid in our class named Troy with hmm? the big ears hmm. asked if he could walk home with me since we live like two houses apart. Mm -hmm. He said he doesn't like walking by himself. Oh, so what'd you say to him? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? I told him no way. <gasps> I told him that I only walked home with my friends and hmm. he was not my friend. Amani! That was mean! Oh yes, I remember that time with Imani where she wasn't really being nice to Troy. Uh -uh. I think we should hear about what she thinks now. Uh -huh. Imani! Hi everyone! Imani! So, we just wanted to catch up with you and find out what happened after our last talk. Remember when you set up a time to walk home with Troy? Well, Troy was a bit mad at me for how I spoke to him the first time, mm -hmm. but I apologized for not being kind. Nice! He forgave me and we agreed to walk home together every day. Woo! He's actually one of my best friends now. We also invited a few of the other kids to walk home with us, which makes it so much fun. Also, Jasmine, mm -hmm. you were right. Mm -hmm. Troy's ears are not that big. <laughs> That's great, Imani. I'm so glad that God helped you get through that time and that you were kind to Troy in the end. Thank you so much for updating us. Thank you, Imani! You did it! Okay, bye. Bye. Bye! Woo! Well, I'm not so sure I know what goodness means, Mrs. Brown. Well, basically, Misty, it means to do what is right and what God wants us to do. Hmm, I'm still not exactly sure what it means to be good. What? That's right. Let's ask Misty again how she's been doing with being good. Mm -hmm. Misty! Misty, come back! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. So, Misty, mm -hmm. after your talk with Mrs. Brown, how are you making out being a good girl? Well, Jasmine, hmm? I'm so glad you asked. Mm -hmm. I'm doing pretty good at being good. 
I almost always follow my mom's instructions now. That's awesome! Yep, yep. Misty, you always follow instructions. Oh, almost always. Misty, <laughs> Misty, you almost always follow instructions. Yes, almost. Mm. I'm not perfect, but I try. Mm. Like the other day, my mom asked me to clean my room up and I continue watching TV instead. Mm. She got mad and I realized that I wasn't being a good girl, uh -uh. so I went and cleaned up my room. Whoa! For a second there, I was gonna say, but that's good, Missy! You're doing yeah. good! Yeah, I try, I try. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if you're not good at first, you can always make up for it and do what you were supposed to do like God would want. So, good job! Woo! Thank you, guys. Mm. That's great advice. You got it! See you later. Good job, Bye Misty. Again. Bye! Bye! See you later! Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Candace, It's been so great hanging out with you and everybody else, really, seeing how everybody's doing with the Fruit of the Spirit. It has. Hmm. So glad to be joining you to review the last three Fruits of the Spirit. Yes. The next Fruit of the Spirit that we looked at was faithfulness. This one was a struggle for me. Mm -hmm. I was struggling to be faithful to being clean. Uh, when was the last time you bathed? Not sure. Maybe about a month ago? <gasps> DJ, you can't be serious. Why have you waited so long? I don't know. Is huh? it that important that I get a bath? Huh? Uh, yeah, DJ. Not getting a bath often enough makes you stinky. And even more importantly, it's bad for your health. It makes you more likely to get sick if you don't bathe enough because you're not washing away any germs. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. I just... DJ, I heard about that. So, how are you doing now? Well, Miss Candace, why don't you smell me? Like the invitation, DJ. Oh, look at you! You're smelling pretty good. I know, it's the soap. <laughs> it smells like cake. <laughs> that's, a, that's great, DJ. I'm glad that you've learned to be faithful in taking baths. Yes. And it has taught me to learn to be faithful to other things like praying and spending time with my brother. Just like God is faithful to us, I am learning to be faithful to him, to others, and to important things like bathing. That's excellent, DJ. Learning to be faithful is important. Do you remember what the next fruit of the Spirit is that we learned? Hmm. I know. It was gentleness. Oh, that's right. Gentleness is, 
is accurate. Yes, our friend Edward wanted to ask Louisa, the new girl in school, to help him with his science homework. I remember. Edward was afraid that Louisa would say no because another classmate had asked in a very rough way and Louisa had told the classmate no. Mm-hmm. Hey, here comes Louisa. That's perfect. Now's your chance to try. Ask Louisa's help, but do it nicely and show gentleness. Hey, Louisa, do you remember me? I was in your class today. My name is Edward. Oh, hey, Edward. Good to see you again. Today was a crazy day at school. Yeah, it was. But it was so cool how quickly you solved that science problem. Oh, thanks. I am terrible at science. I could really use some help. Would you be able to help me, please? Whenever you have time will work for me. Oh, sure, Edward. I will be happy to help, especially since you asked so nicely. Well, we got to see that Edward got a yes out of Louisa because he asked her nicely and he was very gentle with her. So that was awesome. And I wonder if Edward is still using that same advice to be kind and to be gentle with others. Have you heard from him? Sure. After finding out that Edward's leg was broken, I went to visit him and he said he's doing really, really well at being gentle. He has learned to be gentle in all kinds of situations. I'm learning to be more gentle as well. Like when I ask my mom for a snack or when I'm asking my cousin for a ride to school. I have noticed that people are more likely to say yes when I am gentle when talking to them. You're right, DJ. Thank you. People are more inclined to be kind to you when you're kind to them. I'm so glad that we can use the good advice that we learn here on the show um, in all different kinds of ways. God is so awesome that that the things that he teaches us in the Bible, you can use a, a lot of different ways. So yeah, that's awesome. Well, this brings us to our last fruit of the Spirit. Do you remember what it is, DJ? Yes, the last one we talked about was self-control. That's right, DJ. Misty was having difficulty resisting some sugar cookies that her mom made. I remember that her mom left her a note and said that she couldn't have any until she got home and they had dinner together. Dear sweet daughter... Leave the cookies where they are in the cookie jar. I will make dinner as soon as I get back. Don't eat any cookies. Love, Mom. Hmm. I guess, I guess I could suck the cookies through a straw. A straw? Yeah, that's what I can. Uh, no. No, that's not going to work. Oh boy, Louisa, this is awful. I didn't even want a cookie until I found out I wasn't supposed to have one. Now I can't stop thinking about those cookies. Well, we know Misty managed not to eat the cookies until her mom came home. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how Misty has been doing showing self-control since then. That sounds great. Misty! What up, DJ? What up, girl? <laughs> Hi, Misty. Hi, Miss Candace. <laughs> so, how are you doing with, with self-control? Pretty good. I'm learning to wait when my mom makes her cookies and to have self-control in other situations, too. Awesome. Like what, Misty? Like... Waiting until my mom is finished talking to other adults before I talk to her. So I don't interrupt. And doing all my homework before I take out toys to play with. Well, Misty, that sounds excellent. It sounds that you're doing a great job with self-control. Yeah. When I find it hard, I just say a little prayer and God helps me. That's a great plan. We can all follow. I agree. And if you've been tracking with us for all of the fruit of the Spirit, then you remember something that I started saying at the very beginning of our season. Jesus is with you 
and he's helping you. And I think Jesus is with DJ and Misty, and he's been helping you guys too. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that's all that we have today. But I just want to say I've had a fantastic time learning about all of the fruits of the Spirit with you. And I just can't wait for you to go and show your friends and your family what you have learned. I agree. We have had such a blast with you all for the last 13 weeks. We're just about to finish up this season, but before we do, Vanessa and I just wanted to come together and pray for you guys before we are done for today. So you can bow your heads and I'm gonna say a quick prayer over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all of our friends who have been watching with us, this uh, learning about the fruit of the spirit. We know that you are with them and that you are helping them. And we know, Lord, that you are helping them to be the best people that they can be. We pray a special blessing over them, their moms and dads and aunties and uncles and brothers and sisters and grannies and grandpas. We pray that you would be with them as well. And thank you for helping them to grow strong and to grow smarter every single day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with us, your week this week is going to be amazing because Jesus is with you and he's helping you. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.